Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., helping businesses across the province grow through export. For more information, NovaScotiaBusiness.com. The Toy Maker of Lunenburg is a special place where all the toys are handcrafted. A traditional rocking horse is a cherished toy in many homes. The Toy Maker of Lunenburg begins their rocking horse production by planing the lumber. It takes several passes through the planer to create nice, even surfaces on both sides of the wood. This piece is locally sourced 2x8 pine. To remove any marks remaining from the planer, the wood is then run through a thickness sander several times. The result is a nice, smooth, even finish that will allow the colored stains to be evenly absorbed later. The toy maker lays out the pattern for cutting the rockers, taking care to avoid knots where possible. Then they lay out the pattern for the legs. The legs and rockers are carefully cut out on the bandsaw. The legs are temporarily stuck together with double-sided tape to ensure symmetry in this next step. Sanding the legs with 50 grit sandpaper, the cut edges are smoothed in perfect symmetry. The smooth pieces are then separated again. Next, the edges of the legs and rockers are routered for a rounded, finished edge. Then it's over to the pneumatic sander for the final finished sanding. Now it's time for the staining department. The toy maker of Lunenburg uses stain instead of paint to ensure there's no chipping. The toy parts are placed in baskets, then poured with stain into buckets where they are coated. Once coated, they are removed and head over to the tumbler. The basket is placed in the tumbler and the lid is secured. The pieces are rotated in the tumbler to ensure an even coating of stain. They need to tumble for one hour, then are removed and set to dry in racks overnight. After staining, it's time for lacquering. The lacquer is mixed. Then the toy parts are placed in the tumbler once again. The lacquer is poured in. The lid is secured and it will tumble for four hours. Then it's over to the drying racks for the night. The rocking horse seats are stained and lacquered the same way, but are wiped down by hand instead of tumbled and placed to dry. The mane and the tail of the rocking horse are made with soft yarn. By winding the yarn around a card, the mane and tail are prepared, removed, and trimmed evenly. Glue is applied to the rocking horse head and the mane is added and secured with a few staples. A finishing strip of yarn is glued in place. Glue is then added and the handles are installed, followed by gluing in the eyes. Now it's time for the tail. It is pulled up through the seat and glued in place. A reinforcing piece is screwed in place on the underside of the seat. The seat is then screwed to the head. The legs, which have been pre-drilled, are screwed into place, first on one side, then the other. The rockers and rungs are screwed into place and then attached to the body of the horse. This rocking horse is now ready to be enjoyed for generations. 
The Flip Flop Pull Toy is a bestseller for this shop. The toy maker begins his work on the body of the toy by working at the miter saw. He sets up a jig to ensure each of the cuts will be identical. The body of the pull toy requires 10 parts made of one inch doweling. Next, the drill is set up with a jig. The toy maker drills exact holes into each of the body pieces. First on one side of each piece, then placing that hole on a pin for precision, the other side is drilled. This toy is made from Forest Stewardship Council certified birch. At this point, the tail pieces are placed in a jig and cut on a table saw. Next, each of the body pieces are finely sanded to a smooth finish with 100 grit sandpaper. Axles allow for the smooth movement of the body pieces in the pull toy. Here, quarter inch dowels are cut to the exact length on a bandsaw. These will join the moving body pieces together. Staining, lacquering, and drying overnight take place next. Once the parts are cut and stained, the toy maker is ready to begin assembly. A sturdy nylon cord is measured and cut with a burning cutter that seals the ends as it cuts. The rope is threaded through the wooden pieces and using a two-ton press, the rope is cinched with a small piece of smooth metal. Next, the eye is threaded on. A dowel is pressed into the wheel with polyurethane glue. The toy is assembled upon these dowels. The colorful pieces are stacked on to the set of wheels. Next, glue is added to the other end of the dowel where the second wheel is added to each axle. The second part is done the same way. Now, the middle piece is added and the wheels are pressed onto the finished toy. After drying for 24 hours, it's ready for packing and shipping. Another popular toy is the bubble stick. A length of half inch dowel is cut for a handle, then sanded smooth. A wooden ball is drilled and painted to later become the toy topper. A fabric called gimp is measured out. Then the fabric is tied to a wooden ring to form a bubble loop. After a wooden shaped fish is cut out on a scroll saw and the eye is drilled, it is then sanded smooth with 50 grit sandpaper. After it's stained and dried, it's added to the fabric and will act like a weight to help the bubble form. The wooden ring is placed over the dowel. Then the fabric is glued in place on the top of the dowel where the wooden ball is hammered into place to secure it. This toy forms very large bubbles. The toy maker of Lunenburg's special brand is burned into each and every piece they produce.